Hi, and welcome once again to Reflections, the 15-minute broadcast that's designed to bless you, inspire you, and encourage you as you live for the Lord Jesus Christ. We're living in some very troubled times, and I pray that these broadcasts will be able to help sustain you as you live for the Lord, as you walk in His presence. I know there's some of you who may be exposed to this broadcast who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, or you may be backslidden. You grew up in church, but you've walked away from the Lord, walked away from the house of God. Of course, we want to give you the opportunity of always to renew your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, live in a way that will be pleasing to Him, and that when you do slip from this plane into a new plane, that you will hear the words, Well done, good and faithful servant. I don't want us to have any surprises when that time comes. I don't want us to be in a place where we are afraid of the judgment of God. Last week, I shared with you um, what I believe God has been saying to me and what God is saying to many of you regarding this year. As I mentioned, there are many people in the church who are fasting or have fasted for the new year. And um, I know that some of you have been hearing from the Lord. And so I shared with you what I believed, and this was a, in many ways a scripted um, broadcast, but this one, I felt that I wanted to go on to pick up from where I left last week. I can't honestly say to you that I have any notes or anything written down uh, except this one little testimony that I have that I do want to share with you, and um, I just trust I can see it well enough to, to read it and share it with you. This came out of my last uh, broadcast, sorry, two weeks ago, when I shared online church with Pastor Lee for the first time, and I talked about making 2021 great. So I shared two points, and as I mentioned last week's reflection, tied in very nicely with that, even though it was not planned and orchestrated. But someone who, who watched the broadcast after the fact sent this little testimony now. They haven't given me permission to share the testimony. I'm not gonna call a name, but I, it was publicly uh, placed on the website, on my Facebook page and so on. So I just want to share it with you as I begin uh, today. Um, this lady said, Welcome back, Pastor Drayton. My 2020 was a good year too. I experienced God and the Holy Spirit like never before. So 2021 will be even better. And then this quotation, I don't know if it was from her or she was quoting somebody else, but listen to this. I would rather walk the unknown with my Lord Jesus Christ than the familiar without him. I rather walk the unknown with my Lord Jesus Christ than the familiar without him. Now, when I read that, I was, I was impressed uh, for the simple fact that this is, this is a lady that I know who stepped out in faith, um, responded to what she believed the Lord had said to her, and um, she has found what she desired to find, and that is a deeper walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and, you know, I believe that, that more and more, even as I shared at the beginning of my first online church with Pastor D, I believe that God is really calling His children and, and placing us into different areas, different walks. As a matter of fact, He's taken us out of the familiar and putting us into a place where we have to trust Him where we have to rely on Him, where we can no longer rely on those props and those things that, that we, we traditionally look to to help us go through. But, but more and more, and it ties in again with what I'm saying to you, is that God is calling us into a deeper relationship with Himself. You, know, you could say this any year, any time, and it would be accurate. But as I said to you last week, Thursday, um, God wants us to know Him, to get to know Him, truly get to know Him. You see, and, I, and I'll tell you why, uh, and I suppose this is part of the reason why I wanted to continue with this broadcast without even preparing anything. This is being recorded 
right after the last broadcast that I did, but being released a week later. Listen, see things things on the earth right now, and, and all of you can relate to this, are just really unsure. I mean really unsure. I, I read just yesterday, and this will be a week and a half by the time you hear this message, but yesterday I read about new strains of coronavirus in Brazil and a couple of other parts of the world that apparently are more deadly than what we've dealt with before. Uh, you know that there's a new strain now that they said is 70% more contagious than previous strains that we have dealt with. And, and it's like this thing just seems to be mushrooming and getting worse and worse and worse. Now, I know it's not going to be that way forever. At some point, it is going to die down and we're going to return to a new normal. We're not going to return to a state of normalcy because life has changed and it is not going to revert to all it was before. Things are rapidly progressing in God's agenda, rapidly pro progressing in the devil's agenda. Uh, you need to be able to figure out what is what. I need to be able to figure out what is what. And here is the, the critical thing I want to say to you, even though, as I said, this is not scripted. We cannot afford to depend on people like me for guidance. What did I just say? You and I cannot depend on other preachers, on prophets and apostles for guidance in the times that we find ourselves alive. This is a time that we have to depend on God. We have to depend on the Holy Spirit. And I believe that him saying to us, you know, I want you to get to know me is because we will have to navigate some uncharted territories. That's why I appreciated what, what was written here in this. I would rather walk the unknown with my Lord Jesus Christ than, was that word? Than, this is my own hand right now, I can't read. Than for, walk the familiar without him. I'd rather walk the unknown or the uncharted with the Lord than the, the, the charted or the familiar without him. And, and indeed, I believe that's why God is kind of calling us, moving us out, changing us, or our, our whole uh, environment, moving us into uncharted waters because we have to learn to trust Him. We have to learn to hear from Him and to be able to distinguish His voice in the midst of all the voices. You know, with COVID-19, there's been so much disinformation, so many things said, so many things have been uh, put out regarding the vaccinations and there there's a great divide among Christians and, and, and uh, in the world even where people are saying not me I'm not taking any vaccination and others are like yeah 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 as soon as I can I want to take this vaccination we need to be able to know not because Pastor D said so or because Prophet this said that or Apostle said this we need to be able to know for ourselves what is God saying. And, and, and I want to do everything within my power, within my ministry power, within the anointing that I have to, to help you, to help you, not to do it for you, but to help you find that deeper relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ that you get to know him you get to know his voice that when God speaks to you and says don't take it or contrary God says to you you take that vaccination you need to be protected by that vaccination I don't know and and, and to be very honest with you if I knew I wouldn't say what I will say is this that I want to be certain and this is no wisdom. I want to be certain that the vaccination is safe, that it is not going to alter my DNA, that it's not going to have a chip associated with it. it you know, all these kind of things that people are saying and, and, and saying as the gospel. I need to know for myself. I, I heard the president of one of the African countries saying that, uh, I think it was, was it Kenya? Whichever, I think it was Kenya, but he said that None of his people are going to be vaccinated until 
his own uh, medical specialists are able to verify that the vaccine is something that we should put into our bodies. And I thought, no, that's excellent leadership. I suppose what I would say to you, uh, coming off of what he said to his uh, country, I would say to you as people who view this broadcast, look, just be certain, all right? Be certain that you know what you are allowing people to put in your body before you allow them to do it. And I will say to you, one of the best ways to handle that is go before the Lord and say, God, I want you to make my spirit sensitive to your Holy Spirit, that when you say to me, stop, hold, wait, move, go, jump, whatever you say to me, that I would be understanding, not just mentally, but spiritually, what you're saying to me, and that I will have the courage to do it. My resignation from Abundant Life Assembly was, it was a difficult decision to make because when I, I went to that church two and a half years before, I was expecting to, planning to stay for 10, 15 years to retirement, however long it took. And I was, that was it for me. I was good. But then after a while, I began to realize that this was not where God wanted me for that duration of time. It was where he wanted me, but only for a season. And I didn't know that going into it. But then I started to feel this this uh, sense of, you know, your time is coming to an end here. You need to move out. And where God moved me to was someplace that I had no idea I would ever be in that place. And so I am now living by faith, walking by faith, trusting the Lord in a way I have never done in my entire life or ministry. I am ministering in terms of preaching and teaching more than I've ever done in my 32. Actually, the end of this month will be 33 years, 34 years, sorry. I've been in the ministry. I'm preaching more now than I've ever preached before. I never expected that this was coming. And so God has moved me into a completely different realm, a completely different situation. And I believe all this has to do with the time, i.e. the end time, in which we find ourselves alive. And so God is moving, not just me, but many of you, to a different place. He will not do it the same way he did it with me, but he's moving all of us to a different place of faith and trust and confidence. And let me underscore and emphasize a different place of knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I pray that and I feel like I'm not done yet as I said this is unscripted but I feel like I need to go on again go at least one more broadcast with this I'm not trying to fill up time I, I just there's just something in my spirit that I, I need to get out I need to get to you and, and I want the Holy Spirit to convince you that he's calling you into a deeper walk a deeper fellowship with himself a, a, a sense of a, I don't want to say familiarity because that that sounds negative but but understanding and knowledge of who he is and, and what he would do and what he's saying so that we can be confident and, and ready to respond when God speaks to us. Not depending on Pastor D, let me say it again, not depending on this broadcast or anybody else, any big name speaker, but humbly in our relationship with the Lord, our one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Lord, that when God speaks to us, when God speaks to you, you are ready to receive what God is saying and to respond in such a way that your life will truly reflect his glory and bring glory to his name in everything you do, everything you say, and indeed everything that you think. I'm finished for this week. I will be back next week. I am going to pick up from where I left off here, which I don't know it's quite where that is, but I am going to pick up and go on some more with these thoughts. God bless you. I'll see you next week, Thursday, for another edition of Reflections.